Yellowstone Earthquake Shakes, Labial Geyser as Mount St. Helens readies to erupt on its 45th anniversary. Good evening. An unexpected tremor struck one of the most closely monitored regions on Earth today, Yellowstone National Park, just as another geological giant, Mount St. Helens, marks a sobering milestone. It's been 45 years since that mountain exploded in 1980, and tonight, ominous signs suggest it may be waking once again. Yellowstone Earthquake and labial geyser. At precisely 9.42 a.m. local time, a 2.3 magnitude earthquake rattled the ground beneath Yellowstone National Park, sending a ripple of tension through one of the world's most volatile geothermal areas. Though considered minor by seismic standards, the quake struck with enough intensity to visibly shake the labial geyser, one of Yellowstone's less predictable, yet highly pressurized hydrothermal features. Onlookers gasped as the geyser's surface rippled violently before suddenly erupting in a loud and steamy burst, its superheated water jetting nearly 20 feet into the frigid morning air. Park rangers quickly cleared nearby boardwalks as precautionary protocol kicked in, fearing aftershocks could trigger more violent hydrothermal responses. The USGS confirmed the quake originated approximately 3.1 kilometers beneath the upper geyser basin, alarmingly close to the shallow magma reservoirs that fuel Yellowstone's geothermal power. Scientists on site noted unusual pressure changes in surrounding geysers immediately following the quake. While experts stress that a 2.3 magnitude quake isn't uncommon, the timing and location raise concern, especially given the increasing frequency of microquakes over the past few weeks. The earthquake was part of a growing swarm a type of seismic behavior that, in the past, has preceded notable geothermal events. Mount St. Helens anniversary and warning signs. Meanwhile, 1,000 miles to the west, a different kind of tension is mounting. Today marks the 45th anniversary of the catastrophic eruption of Mount St. Helens a date etched into geological and human history. On May 18, 1980, the mountain violently exploded, killing 57 people and reducing the summit by over 1,300 feet. But now, on this very anniversary, new signs suggest the volcano may be preparing for another act. According to the Cascades Volcano Observatory, seismic tremors, gas emissions, and ground deformation have all increased over the past three weeks. The volcano has been experiencing a steady inflation of its lava dome a telltale sign that magma is once again rising. Satellite data captured over the weekend shows heat signatures intensifying within the crater, and dozens of tiny earthquakes have been recorded along the mountain's flanks. While an eruption is not guaranteed, volcanologists caution that Mount St. Helens 
is entering a phase of heightened unrest, eerily similar to the months leading up to the 1980 eruption. 